To begin this vlog, I'm going to share with you some very valuable advice if you're going to be an independent filmmaker. A lot of people have been asking me where I find the music I use in my videos. The answer is simple and that's SoundCloud. What I'll do is I'll just go to some random person's page and I'll click on a random track. And if I like it, I'll use it in one of my vlogs. Now does this sound like it has potential? I'm not really sure. I kind of don't like it. Let's see. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, I, I got my boosted board back. And we're currently going on a really exciting mission. You guys know how I really like bubble tea? It's that Vietnamese smoothie drink I usually get that has the little tapioca balls in the bottom of it. Well, I've decided that I like it so much that I'm going to go to an Asian market right now to buy the ingredients to make my own bubble tea. Now let's go to the Asian market. I think we're relatively close. Alright, we've made it to the market, and now what I'm looking for are the tapioca balls that you put in bubble tea. Chicken feet. Ugh. Oh no. Oh my god. This is pig ear. I'm sorry if this grosses you out, but I have to show you one more. This is pig tongue. Fortunately enough for me, none of those are ingredients to bubble tea. I'm currently in a predicament because I can't find them anywhere. I might have to ask someone, but I don't think the guy who runs the store speaks very well English. <gasps> I can't even speak English well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ask him. Hey, excuse me? Do you know where the, um, like, boba pearl milk balls are? Do you have those? Boba, boba personal, that's uh... Over there? Okay, thank you so much. Apparently they're over here. If we're being honest, I couldn't really understand what he said to me, but I just saw him point in this direction. Okay, so I found instant boba milk tea, which sounds disgusting. I want to make it like myself. This might mean that they don't have the tapioca balls. I won't give up hope just yet. Excuse me, I'm looking for the balls that go inside of it. Do you have those? Oh, you do have those? Okay, let's go. I don't have the best color. You don't have like the regular tapioca? It is tapioca. Okay. Okay, so apparently they have like these tapioca pearls, but they're like colored and I don't know if that means they're like weird flavor. This will have to do. So step one, find the tapioca balls. Completed. And now I think the next ingredient I need to find is condensed milk. All right, we're gonna rendezvous back to my apartment. Okay, we're back home and before I go back out again, we're letting the boosted board charge. In honor of me trying to make a foreign beverage, I'm gonna try and speak a foreign language. Recently, the Swedish YouTuber Manfred sent a lot of his Snapchat audience to my videos. So in respect to my newfound Swedish audience, I'm gonna try and pronounce some of their tough words. All right, so how this is gonna work is I'm gonna type English words into the English to Swedish translator on Google, and I'm gonna try and say what I typed in English and Swedish. I don't know if you can see that, but the first one I'm gonna try is where there's a will, there's a way. I bet I'm gonna be a natural at Swedish, and I'm not gonna say this wrong. Dar det vins en vizsla vins det en vag. Did I nail that? I bet I did great. All right, what should I do next? Ooh, something coffee related for sure. Coffee gives my life reason. <laughs> Alright, are you ready for this one? Café gather meat leave and lining. Hold on, I think I and lining. I'm not feeling as confident with that one. Manfred smells like Swedish fish. Manfred Luke Tarr Svensk Fisk. Are you offended, Manfred? Are you mad that I just said that? Honestly, you should be flattered because I love Swedish fish. We've stolen your nationality and turned it into a delicious gummy snack. Oh, I'm about to nail this next one. Are you guys ready? Stockholm. Crushed it. Well, this is really coincidental. Manfred just sent me a Snapchat. Here, I'll record it. Let's see what he had to say. <laughs> Mm. 
Can't say I know what you said, Manfred, but I'm sure it was really nice and encouraging. Also, if you're wondering why the lighting is just so good, I have a bed sheet on my window. That's literally it. You get perfectly diffused light, and that's the most flattering kind of light. It also makes your eyes pop. So now that I've embarrassed myself trying to speak Swedish, we're gonna go on part two of the bubble tea mission. We gotta go find some condensed milk. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna find the condensed milk at Walmart because I'm honestly not trying to go back to that Asian market. It smelled really weird. It was probably the pig ears and pig tongue. Oh, hey, what's up, Texas? If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, you know I went to the beach with that guy. Yes. I think we've seen you in here a little yeah, while ago. Was I holding my camera? Yeah. Yep. I just got two new subscribers. Oh, and yeah, I'm getting Meadows Sweetened Condensed Milk. So let's go home and make some bubble tea. Change of plans, I'm stopping at our local bubble tea shop because I need some inspiration. And by inspiration, I meant I needed to take one of their bubble tea straws because I, I didn't buy my own. It started to rain on my ride home from the bubble tea place, so now I gotta go change. I'm about to put on my new favorite shirt, and it's fitting for the occasion because this shirt has rain on it. It's so soft, I really wish you guys could feel this shirt. If we get to 100 thumbs up, I'll visit everyone's house and let them touch this shirt, okay? Deal. And now it's the moment of truth. We are gonna make bubble tea. First step is to boil um, 10 cups of water because you're supposed to boil 10 cups of water per every cup of boba pearls. Well, it looks like we're gonna need to get a bigger pot. Now that you have 10 cups of water boiling and one cup of tapioca pearls, you're gonna pour these into your boiling water and wait until these float to the top. And that's how you know they're gonna be done. I'm like telling you guys this like I'm a professional, I've done this a million times, but I'm just reading all this stuff off Pinterest. <laughs> Being around all these giant lights as well as boiling water, I'm starting to sweat, so forgive me. So right now, I gotta let the bubbles simmer. Once they're done being warmed up, we gotta make them sweet by putting them in like a sugary syrup. So let's boil some hot water and sugar. Now is what I like to think is the fun part. So like in stores, when you buy bubble tea, you get to pick what flavor bubble tea you want. I usually get coffee, and so today we will be making a coffee bubble tea. I'm gonna blend ice, Starbucks coffee packet, condensed milk, and maybe just some regular milk. I'm gonna blend that all together to get like the smoothie-esque base, to which I will then put the bubbles in. <laughs> Now that we have our coffee smoothie stuff, it's time for literally the one moment I've been waiting for all day. Time to mix the bubbles and this stuff and make a bubble tea. <laughs> I wanted that to happen. And voila, bubble tea. All right, time for the moment of truth. No, guys, that's so good. Holy cow, I, had low hopes the entire day. I was I was I was really doubting myself. Now this is some bubble tea. Bubble tea is a Taiwanese drink, so if any of you guys are watching from Taiwan, are you proud of me? We did it guys, we made bubble tea. Alright guys, where well, there's a will. Actually, I'm not ending the vlog here. <laughs>